what if I told you you can create an AI that can generate images just like OpenAI but the craziest thing is you can do it completely for free. Interesting right? Well yeah. Today we'll be taking a look at how this AI works and ultimately we'll be creating this AI. Before getting started this video is sponsored by Codable. Are you ready to take your web development skills to the next level? Look no further. Introducing professional 3GS course. 3GS is a powerful JavaScript library that allows you to create stunning 3D graphics and animations for your website. It's a must have skill for any web developer looking to stand out in the industry. Our course is designed for developers of all levels from beginners to advanced. Our expert instructors will guide you through the process of creating 3D graphics and animations and provide you with the hands-on projects to help you apply your new skills. By the end of the course, you'll have the skills to create stunning 3D graphics and animations for your website and elevate your web development portfolio. Don't miss out this opportunity to stand out in the web development industry. Sign up today and take the first step towards becoming a web development pro. Stable Diffusion, which is an open source A algorithm that aims to improve the stability and robustness of neural networks. It does this by introducing a new form of regulations to the training process known as diffusion regulation. This regulation method aims to prevent overfitting by encouraging the model to produce similar outputs for similar inputs. This can lead to a better generalization performance on unseen data. The installation is pretty simple and uh, let's actually install that first. Over here, I got Stable Diffusion Web UI, which we're going to be installing it right now. So for that, what I'll do is I'll just scroll down a little bit and here you can find all the resources, right? And you can always read out this documentation and once you're done with that, now we're going to be installing this. So for that, what I'll do is I'll just click on this little code icon over here and you can download this as a zip file. And then we're going to be installing a Stable Diffusion model from Hugging Face. You might have to create an account over here, just create that and once you're done with that, just open this link and then you can find the you know sd you know v14.ckpt right just install that thing. just click on here and it'll probably install and the size of this file is around 4 gb so it might take a little bit of time for downloading and then once you're done with that we're going to be installing this gfp gan which is an algorithm that we're going to be using it for our you know stable diffusion ai so over here while i lose it i'll just you know scroll this a little bit and here you can find the versions so what I'll do is it, I just, you know, go with this latest version. So I just click on here and it'll probably download you that file. Once you're done with that, i will extracted this stable diffusion folder from the zip file. And uh, once you're done with that, now we're going to be actually placing down our models and then our algorithms over here. So in order to actually do that, first, let me copy out this, you know, GFPGAN file over here. I'll just, you know, cut this out and then I'll just paste that inside this stable diffusion folder. So I'll just paste that in my root folder and uh, you can find that over here. Once you're done with that, now we're going to be moving this file as well. So for that, what I'll do is it, I'll just, you know, cut this file and let me head over to the stable diffusion folder again. And over here, you can find the models, right? Just click on that. And then here you can find a stable diffusion over here. Just click on that as well. And right here, just paste that file over here. Once you're done with that, now let's uh, scroll this a little bit and over here, you can find the web ui user dot batch file right just click on that and it should probably work i got my terminal over here and you can press enter if you got stuck in a while okay now that's fine now let's run this thing and note that it will take a little bit of time for actually processing this entire thing now i'm getting this error but in your case it might work and uh, if it doesn't work then you should follow these steps now we need to pass some limitations in order to actually run this ai so in order to actually do that, first let me close this terminal by just, you know, pressing on enter and then once you're done with that, just open this up in a Visual Studio code. So right here, I'll just add a command over here. So for that, while I lose it, I'll just create skip torch kudo test command over here. Once you're done with that, now let's head out to the, you know, uh, web user dot bat file and over here you got the, you know, command line arguments, right? So we're going to be actually adding the same thing, but instead we're going to be adding an additional thing, which is going to be precision full no half. So this will allow us to, you know, run the AI, even though our GPU is not supported. Now let's actually run this AI. So in order to do that, let me open up this file again. And right now it should take a little bit of time. So for my case, it just took me around, you know, 30 minutes or so. And uh, once you're done with that, then it should probably work. All right, the A is working right now and I can find the URL over here. So in order to actually run that, I'll just, you know, copy out this URL and I'm going to run this URL in my web browser. So let's actually do that. So let's actually test this AI by generating some images. So 
yeah let's actually do that let's say that a man rides a bicycle on the moon so let's actually generate this images but before that you can adjust the settings but for now i'll just leave this resolution as you know 512 by 512 and you can adjust this cfg scale as well but for now let's actually leave that to the default settings so let's actually generate the image by clicking on this generate button over here and let's wait for a while and yeah that's how you actually generate images using this you know stable diffusion ai and right here you can increase the you know number of images by increasing the batch count over here and you can really change the batch size as well and yeah that's how you actually create a stable diffusion ai in your local workspace and with that's it i'll catch you guys in the next video peace